This is lesson 3.4 on multi-step inequalities. You're going to need your notebook and a pencil to solve multi-step inequalities. And if you missed this little hint here, I'd like you to take some notes on this lesson. So open up your notebook. In fact, open it to the very front first and find the table of contents. All of the stuff up here on, on the screen should be in your notebook. But you're going to add in 3.4, which is to solve or solving multi-step inequalities. You find the next available page in your notebook, number it, and write it in the table of contents. So it should look like this. Now, I'm not going to ask you to take Cornell notes today, but I would like you to write in the essential question for this lesson, and that is, how do you solve multi-step inequalities? And don't forget lesson 3.4. Now, when you solve inequalities, as you may have already noticed, it's just like solving equations. There's a slight difference, though, when you have negative numbers involved. So you're going to be watching for negative coefficients. And when you're finished, at the end, your answer should have the variable on the left. That just makes it easier to graph. So let's take, this, take a look at this first problem. It's multi-step because it's more than one step. Some will be as simple as a two-step problem like this, and we'll get to a couple others here in a second that will involve more steps. But you solve it just like an equation. To get rid of the minus 7, you're going to add 7. What you do on one side of the inequality, you do on the other side. The 7s cancel. 17 plus 7 is 24. To get A by itself, it's being multiplied by negative 6, so you divide by negative 6. What you do on one side, you do on the other side, and you get A. 24 divided by negative 6 is negative 4. And now we're going to watch for negative coefficients. The negative coefficient was negative 6. And when I divide by a negative, I have to flip the inequality. So I get A is greater than or equal to negative 4. The variable is on the left, so I'm good. That's my answer. And when you graph it, We've talked about this several times. Put the negative 4 in the middle, write a couple numbers on either side. The benefit of having the letter on the left is that the inequality will point the same direction as the arrow. All numbers A greater than or equal to negative 4 are those to the right. And because it's equal to, the circle is closed or filled in. And that's it. Now, on your assignment, you're going to be asked to solve and graph the inequalities. But for your notes, I'm going to save some time and just solve and leave the graphing up to you when you do your assignment. So here's problem three. It involves multiple steps. The first step is to take the number outside the parentheses and distribute it to get 3t plus 3 minus the 4t greater than or equal to negative 5. And now you're going to add like terms. 3t and minus 4t makes negative 1t plus the 3 greater than or equal to negative 5. Again, solve it just like an equation. The plus 3, to get rid of it, you subtract 3. I'm left with negative 1t greater than or equal to negative 5, and negative 3 is negative 8. And the last step is to get rid of this negative 1, so I divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 8 divided by negative 1 is positive 8. These 1s cancel, I, I get t. Because I have divided by a negative number, I have to flip the inequality. One more, similar to that. Well, in this case, there are variables on both sides of the inequality. So I'm going to pick one side to be the variable side, the other side to be the number side. On the variable side, I get rid of the plus 12 by subtracting 12. What I do on one side of the inequality, I do on the other. And I line up my numbers. On the number side, I'm going to get rid of the variable. So to get rid of minus 2b, I add 2b. And again, what I do on one side, I do on the other side. 
And just like you'd expect, the variables cancel each other out, the numbers cancel each other out. 3b plus 2b is 5b. 27 minus 12 is 15, and that's still less than in between. The last step is to divide both sides by 5, and I get b and 3. Now, I have not divided by a negative number. I have not multiplied by a negative number, so my inequality stays the same. I don't flip it. Now, when we solved equations, there were two special cases. One was called the identity, and one was no solution. And if you recall, both of these happened when all the variables canceled out. And the identity happened when you got a true equation, like 4 equals 4. And no solution happened when you got a false equation, like 3 equals 4. And something similar happens with inequalities. So let me show you a couple of those. In this first example, problem 5a, first step is to distribute the 2, so I get 2 times 5 is 10, minus 2 times 4a is 8a. Because there are variables on both sides, I'm going to choose a variable side and a number side. And I'm going to subtract 12 from this side and subtract 12 from this side to get rid of the numbers. And on the number side, I'm going to add 8a and add 8a. And what you'll notice is on the left-hand side, the 12s cancel each other out and the 8a's cancel each other out, leaving you with 0. And on the right-hand side, the 8a's go away. 10 minus 12 is negative 2. So just like an equation, all the variables drop out. And what's left is 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2. So at this point, if the variables go away, you have to ask yourself, is this inequality true? Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 2? And the answer is yes. Now, it's not called the identity with an inequality, your answer is just all real numbers. And that means it doesn't matter what value you pick for the letter A, when you put it in this inequality, it makes it true. So your answer is all reals. And similar to an equation, the next example, B, I'm going to solve it like an equation, so I find like terms. 7m minus m is 6m. I'm going to pick a variable side, pick a number side. The steps are exactly the same as equations, so I add 5 to both sides. I subtract 6m from both sides. And what happens is the variables drop out. 7 plus 5 is 12. On the left-hand side, the variables also drop out, and the numbers drop out, so I get 0. And just like the first example, I ask myself, is 0 greater than 12? Is this true? And the answer is no. 0 is not greater than 12, so my answer is no solution. And that means there is no number I can put in place of m and make this inequality true. So the two special cases you're going to find with inequalities are similar to equations. One, where the variables drop out and it's true, the answer is all reals. The other one, where the variables drop out and it's not true, is no solution.